Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Laura Richardson, Commanding General of U.S. Army North at Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio. Army North is also known as Fifth Army and proudly carries the legacy of that great organization of World War II. So I am truly honored to be speaking here today to recognize and pay respect to the tremendous contributions of all veterans and especially to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. A big thank you to Major General Albert Zapanta as the organizer of this year's virtual event and for the invitation for me to speak. Also thanks to Lieutenant Colonel King Moss for his work as the dignitary chairman and to Mrs. Tracy Fisher for her role as the chair of the Greater Dallas Veterans Foundation, the sponsor of this event for many years now. I know that professional events like this don't happen without an incredible amount of behind the scenes work by so many volunteers. So thank you to all. I'm very honored by your invitation to speak to you today. Veterans Day is not just a day for veterans, it's a day for all Americans to remember their fellow citizens who served our nation in the military and to spend some time reflecting on the great country we have because of those veterans. While the reality of the pandemic has called a halt to the parade this year, I have full confidence it will be back in full strength next year. This event honors those who serve and have served in uniform, and it is complemented by the additional foundation programs that help all Americans appreciate the freedoms that our veterans protected. A silver lining to COVID is that the foundation had to think of new and meaningful ways to honor veterans, regardless of external circumstances. This year's digital poster art contest with its theme of World War II focuses on younger Americans still in school grades six through 12. Both the foundation sponsored video contest and its moving for vets with 75 in mind encourages all citizens of all ages to do something to remember the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II. The foundation has pivoted to a 2020 reimagined virtual veteran celebration and experience. I hope you will join them on Veterans Day and honor those from the greatest generation. I'm so excited to see the foundation create such positive change in the community year round through the participation, through education, and through recognition. No observance of Veterans Day would be complete without mentioning World War I, known as the Great War, and its role in the foundation of Veterans Day. Although the last of that generation has passed away, we still remember their sacrifices today. In the years since President Woodrow Wilson declared the 11th of November a National Day of Remembrance, the scope of our observance has changed from a day set aside to remember the dead, from the Great War to a day in which American veterans from all wars, as well as those who served in times of peace, could be honored. I want to pay special attention today to World War II veterans and the role they played in a truly global conflict that defined our nation and made the world a far better place for all. On May 8, 1945, they celebrated along with their families in the United States when the war in Europe ended with the surrender in Berlin. We also commemorate the end of the war in the Pacific on September 2nd, 1945, when General of the Army Douglas MacArthur presided over the official surrender ceremony in Tokyo Bay. A common thread that runs through the stories of World War II veterans is their willingness to serve their country, even when they knew many of them would not come home alive. Self-sacrifice and determination like that ensured that our country survived and that same spirit of service ensures the nation continues to thrive. Our nation has sacred obligation to all its veterans, an obligation that continues each and every day, not just on Veterans Day. As we honor veterans today, please remember their families, their sacrifice and resilience ensures that our fighting men and women always have the will to answer our nation's call. The number of World War II veterans still alive is dwindling rapidly. So if you see a World War II veteran on Veterans Day or any day, reach out to them and thank them for their tremendous service so long ago. Had they not served in the fight against totalitarianism, our world would be vastly different today. Their untold courage and sacrifice secured the liberty our founding fathers sought to establish in the United States. Just as today, veterans continue to carry the torch of liberty for all to see. Whenever and wherever the nation calls in times of darkness and danger, as well as in times of peace and prosperity, American veterans will be there. 
They are stationed around the world today, standing in harm's way to protect us and the American way of life. I believe the U.S. Army will continue to honor the greatest generation for another 75 years and more. An example of the deep respect they earned is the United States Army dress uniform I wear today, which pays tribute to World War II veterans who wore similar uniforms so many years ago. Another tribute to the greatest generation is seen in the vehicle behind me, part of the World War II display here at Fort Sam Houston Museum. This museum highlights the importance of World War II and it also recognizes the contributions of the entire nation in that very challenging time. One more way the Army continues to commemorate World War II is by keeping alive the lineage of the great units like Fifth Army. Every time Army North heads out to the field to defend the homeland or support fellow Americans in hurricanes, fires, or COVID, the Fifth Army patch on our shoulder harkens back to World War II. Every time I see the patch, I'm reminded of my Fifth Army brothers and sisters in World War II, and think of them. A few veterans are honored for valor in battle, but the overwhelming majority are honored simply for their service and their sacrifice. An old Army song says, when we were needed, we were there. It wasn't always easy, and it wasn't always fair. But when freedom called, we answered. We were there. When you see a veteran, thank them for being there for all Americans. May God bless you, our veterans, including those still serving today. And may God bless the United States of America, strength of the nation.